This is I, Ace Taha, forged of elemental crystal. The enraged Earth will not absolve you! You stand upon your tomb. Quake! There is a fine line between good and evil. This is order. This oh my goodness, Ugly. Don't nuke the, the cat's tail. Oh man, I know you two are having so a feud, but dang. Anyway, hey everybody, welcome back to another video. We are checking out for the day one guide on Ajdaha. And oh my goodness, what a beast Ajdaha is uh, in this game, man. Uh, I really did not expect uh, much from Ajdaha. You know, because it's 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 the big it's the big turtle monster, right? What what is he what is he gonna do? Um, you know, the dev said, hey, why don't we give him all five elements uh, to use? That's right, my friends. Ajdaha not only is Geo, but he can also use the four base elements, as I call them, Cryo, Hydro, Pyro, and Electro. You know, this character has a ton to unpack, so we're going to jump uh, right into it. So if you're new to the day one guides, uh, basically what we do here is that I uh, cover the character uh, and, all their, and all their kit and tips and teach you some tips and tricks on how to actually use them and some deck building tips uh, as we go on. Uh, in the video so uh we're gonna get started right away with prince because i have three matches today one of them is kind of i just call it bonus content uh we're going to start with something simple and i did it on purpose as an example uh double geo asia uh this is in claire's list i just took it from the decklist channel and it's uh noel dea and asia really simple really simple stuff really uh but let's do this and i'm i'm on purpose playing this deck because i really need to show an example of just how ridiculous uh this character is and all the quirks you have to watch out for so we're gonna get right past this coin and dice roll so uh let's start with our uh basic stuff normal attack does nothing special just two physical damage uh good old meaty punch uh you know if you need to get some extra damage in there but generally speaking uh you shouldn't need to use this although uh there will be many cases where you dice your cringe with Aisha. uh however the important parts to talk about his stuff is of course his two passes that he can inflict on himself uh, which will be integral to you know unlocking his whole game plan so number one his base passive stone facets uh is the thing that allows him to absorb elements now elements he can either force himself to absorb with his skill or he can get it from other people hitting him with elements and we'll see that uh, in the next turn in just a moment but yeah here's the passive blah 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 you have the power of each element and when this after this character absorbs an element of a different uh, type currently than the absorb element you will actually generate a one elemental dice of the same type of that element and that's really important because as you'll see in a moment is that these skills are going to cost elemental uh, elemental dice of the same type now of course you usually like to have a little bit of control over this ability and i will believe i will be dropping a skill in just a moment here but this is aura of majesty this is how you're generally speaking going to absorb elements but of course something like this can also happen there you go where i don't have anything and now i attach my secondary status which is the stone facets elemental crystallization there's both of them it's very confusing there's uh, to look at how long this thing is this is elemental absorption this is elemental crystallization what do they do they they both uh they both absorb uh they both perform elemental absorption the skill basically just makes sure it's like hey this will 100 percent happen and i also do geo damage and this is the base passive that will also cause it to happen regardless it's just uh, it's a it's a lot of words i mean look, look at how long the text box is man <laughs> it really is something uh but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and let sara do her thing now i have the status active oh she did some damage to me i absorb that i take a card uh because i have uh, kavanara and boom i am now electro ajdaha uh which seems really scary but no don't worry it's not uh and i'll talk about the each of the abilities here so now you can see i have a new skill uh added to my slot before i only had these three before it is thunderstorm wave now don't worry don't be confused uh it is not as crazy as it looks uh, every single time you absorb an element of the cryo hydro pyro or electro it is simply going to be the it is simply going to be three costs and three damage of that elemental type so that does also mean that you do need that dice uh when you do stuff like this because if you don't have the dice for it then you can't just use the skill and that is pretty bad and that's why you have the passive of stone facets to generate at least one uh you know one dice to help you uh if you had two omni sharing over there but yeah everything is the same they all have ridiculous names nobody's gonna name them off now i'm simply just waiting uh for them to do their game plan uh but as you can see there uh looks like current senior just dropped a lash on me and now i generated one cryo dice because i absorbed something different which is pretty cool 
Uh, now I won't actually be able to use it because as I said before, you need Omnis or something else uh, to make sure this stuff triggers. And in this case, I don't. So I have to run it back to Dea and just Paimon, which is still decent value. Uh, but regardless, it is something you have to watch out for and more things I will talk about later uh, when trying to learn how to use this character. Now, uh, while we are waiting uh, for the match to actually progress, let's talk about Decimating Rockfall, the Elemental Burst. Now, this is uh, where the counter in Stone Facet really comes in handy because uh, you're going to lose track. I lost track half the time in the match. I'm like, man, I don't even know how many elements I've absorbed. Uh, especially when you're fighting you know multiple element teams uh that is going to be something pretty difficult uh to take a look at but that's what the nice little counter is for and as, as decimating rockfall already says it is a four geo damage burst only costs you three dice two energy so that's very very cheap but not only that uh for every element you absorb you get plus one damage and four damage is already a lot guys now when you add two three four if you're crazy enough to have that happen but generally speaking you'll get two um that is a lot of damage uh you know for a two for a two energy burst because keep in mind this is going to last you the whole game and you can just keep chucking it at them and continuing to absorb elements you know with your skill and this really really ramps up you know not even including uh, other cards like food and stuff so yeah uh while we're waiting uh we're just gonna keep going with the match honestly uh again i picked this deck on purpose uh because while i don't think it is like amazing you know uh din has always been kind of just a strong core and then asia has really funny uh with what he can do uh i just wanted to show something simple just to help you understand asia easily because when you start flying when you start running into the rainbow decks uh with asia <laughs> with asia magic or you know magic magic dice he just does he just does some stuff uh that is truly out of this world uh, and we'll start absorbing elements left and right like <laughs> you know it's a it's freaking candy man uh so yeah we're getting something easy here but here i drop in with asia Hut, and that is my use of my frost wave wave cryo skill uh to deal a big damage melt and just tear off barbara's health man is so much uh and you know uh looking at the absorption i don't think she's gonna survive my friends <laughs> here we go moving in barbara desperately tries to fight for her life and i believe i do actually switch to hydro here yeah that's right i did have the status from the aura of majesty because i use the skill uh so remember keep that in mind you will absorb an element every time and that's sort of supposed to be the disadvantage of Aes Deha. uh you know he, like he can't really keep control of what elements he has on him but uh that doesn't matter because i can't really argue with a seven damage burst oh my goodness uh barbara has just been wiped off the face of this earth and now asia has sickened with a scary electro charge uh but lucky for them i do not have the dice uh to perform this action so we're just gonna have to wait it out there we go cool mal engine very cool by the way uh i think i mentioned it earlier but j chamber do not play this do not play this card especially in asia i thought it, i thought it was funny uh i was not it, i was not slick <laughs> anyway uh yeah just getting through getting through all this uh let's talk about i will talk about a little bit more about this comp you know since we are going to have to wait a while just because this this match takes forever it's geo you know how it goes uh yeah it's just it, it is a strong it's the strong din core uh you drop day a skill you know five value crazy ridiculous skill and then you kind of let ajdaha just stomp around and then noel can and then you can wait until noel uh can equip bell and the tenacity of the middle with, and you can kind of just wreck shop from there now i did notice i wasn't using geo res that much on ajdaha uh you know obviously for number one he doesn't create shields uh but number two you know he just it doesn't really feel uh that worth it but yeah continuing on from here asia Hud drops a drops a hydro on sara you know just because i can do that and that's that's just the crazy part right like you you just become the avatar you can do anything you want with this character and it truly is something the the idea that uh you know having random elemental absorption is a disadvantage really just doesn't feel like it's there at all uh with age to her senora is gonna do senora thing she thinks she's really cool but guess what i'm the cooler weekly boss ouch rude and a slight annoyance pushes me over and now i'm going to take full advantage of this dice grab it for a paimon run it into a pizza and just pass the one x over to the turn yeah that's right you know even though uh this team you know slowly they're degrading away they're facing erosion uh noel is now sitting at a very nice spot with tenacity of the middle with 8 hp and uh the bell in my hand ready to go and senora thinks she's safe she's not <laughs> yeah it's commentary is going to be a little slow uh this time my friends just because uh there is a lot of match to cover and i did want to make sure i kind of made it pretty clear on how asia actually works because um it's a really complicated card and probably something that you know 
kind of like uh turns people away uh you know when they see the fact that he's just like swipping swapping elements left and right uh you know <laughs> like i said earlier but here we go ouch senora slightly hurts me but noel does not it doesn't matter when you're facing a super noel i have adeptus and i'm going to just drop this on top of you and crunch and of course people who don't read noel's skill think she's done no she's not two dice you are never safe after she bursts and they even noticed crunch no lenny and down these two are not the these two these two you know they're usually fighting uh in the story but <laughs> uh they're working together and they are failing miserably how unfortunate just waiting for the match uh, to go through here as we are looking at the stuff. But yeah, I don't know. Aisha is just a generally very valuable character. Uh, I already have four stacks here, by the way. So that's fun. Uh, but yeah, the stuff that I will be showing you later is going to be uh, Aisha's rainbow magic and just the stuff he can do uh, with his talent card, which I won't read it here because, you know, we're actually going to see it next match. Uh, I don't run it in this deck just because... Uh, that's not what the list specified for. Also, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. No, all goes crunch. And then I believe Sara overloads me actually over uh, to Asia Hub. But I think I decide, you know what? Let's go for the haha -ha funny BM play. And I'm going to slide right over to Asia Hub. That's right. I even drew my entire hand, by the way. So that's pretty crazy. Oh, there we go. Also, there's Tenacity in the middle of this, just being the goat. And I drop a pyro hit on you and they concede because they're like, okay, I, I give up. <laughs> oh man, I got a lot of concedes uh, when playing with Asia. And you know what? I really don't blame people uh, because of just how much stuff you can do, uh, not only with a little bit of dice cheating. And that was with very minimal dice cheating. Uh, with the next matches that we're going to be looking at, uh, <laughs> the one right above me, it's just dice cheating galore. And let's start talking about deck lists that Asia can fit in. So, double geo is fine because you know, double geo is always nice because their friends like to pair together and they like to make lots of shields. But the real sauce, to be honest, is going to be with rainbow. So, I'll just take a quick look at the double geo list. Of course, we're all going to post them in the, in the end of the video. But here we go. Here is the two rainbow list that I've compiled. Uh, this one's sort of bonus content, but this is the one that I definitely want to look at the most. It is As to Have Magic with uh, Robot Wizard's list of action cards and kevin z's talent that's why it has the funny name down there anyway uh official bennett and ajdaha now bennett generically good generically good character for boosting your boosting all your friends you know he heals he can do and you do bonus damage like it's a lot official great applier really really easy just drop the skill and then you can forget about her and that's pretty much it now we're going to talk about the stuff uh, inside here now i've already had a big tangent about gilded dreams before so i'm not going to do it again you can watch the linear video for that but this card is ridiculous and this is where it will shine the most and not only will it shine the most it'll also shine the most with asia has talent lunar cycles unending uh which is going to create extra dice but we're going to see what happens when we do that uh in our match of course so let's jump right into our match nope that's not what i wanted we're not buying cards just yet as for another day and we'll go over here and let's go fight nero now yeah wanderer mona freeze or mew is coming in to beat me up and this is not looking good for me as you know uh at being able to attack off field that's definitely not uh something i want to see but thankfully uh this deck can really just kind of weave its way out of it you know surprisingly enough anyways jumping right into this match we're gonna pass the dice roll uh let's talk about the talent card because i'm actually i don't think i don't know if i pull it in this match uh but lunar cycles unending is basically that it is a two cost uh, aligned equipment card uh and i do believe you need to have ajdaha on field to play it uh but when you play this card uh you will create one dice for every elemental party uh you know every element in your party so of course that does lead you to think oh yeah well let's play rainbow and that's why it's called ajdaha rainbow magic uh, you just generate uh, dice out of nowhere uh, because once you equip it onto Asia, you know, you lose two dice, but then you gain three uh, thanks to your elemental party members. And that is just truly a scary thing because, uh, you know, especially since Asia is most likely to absorb the elements of your party members because you're applying them onto your friends. Uh, you know, he will also be able to benefit from the dice and, you know, drop, let's say, a fire, let's say, let's say a fire or an electro hit, uh, which is pretty scary yeah we're moving through this uh generally speaking you know as bennett decks do you know uh they just want to kind of get bennett out on the field but of course official in combination with bennett uh you know since she's a summoner at super high value you know just drop her early uh it won't hurt you to wait a way to turn on bennett he can survive uh scaramouche is now coming in and he's very scary he does a lot of stuff 
uh, with it with his abilities i'm gonna take back war clash's glow uh to max value out of the punishment i'm about to take because i'm pretty sure regardless someone is going to hit me here uh yep they fast swap right back immediately into wonder and they start tanking away my Aza. now this is really scary you know like in theory like you know you'd be really worried uh, in this scenario but this deck can just do so much stuff because guess what bennett burst is coming i even pull out uh stove way too early by the way you should never really play stove by turn two unless you absolutely need it uh to cheat out dice like this and wow mal engine just puts in work my goodness it is really uh something to witness and now i can drop burst and make sure i heal past my break point or well not really because i'm below seven hp but just get it up early uh so i can go into the next turn and start stomping yep move to asia huh? and then also grab one of these just for just for bonus measure you know and we move into the next turn yeah uh for the most part uh, i don't believe asia cannot uh swir be swirl off field i don't think that's a thing that can happen i haven't tested it personally but i can't imagine it would as uh, that would be very strange and i also didn't happen in this match so you know that's just not something you need to expect there we go wanderer now starts attacking official which you know i already got maximum value of official all i needed to do was skill and now i equip uh, Gilded Dreams, which that's very fun because it also only costed me uh, like z I'm pretty sure it costed me zero dice here. It was either what it was one or zero dice, and then I just generated all the dice because it, of course, Gilded Dreams is the rainbow card, uh, gives you full advantage of that. And I generate two more, and now I use that, and now I pyro absorb, and now oh man, I just I'm I literally I haven't lost any dice. Now Scarmish does nuke me here, and that does seem very scary, but. That's where the other stuff comes in. Mao Engine, of course, just saving my butt. And another Guild of Dreams, because why not? And I stomp on Scaramouche. Now it is just Mona Eula. Now this is still a very losable scenario, of course, because, you know, Mona is going to come in, start bashing away at my health, and I'm going to fla flash right back. And there is the Bennett healing that is super duper useful, uh, you know, to help out Ajdaha in the situations where he will struggle a little bit. Yeah, jumping around, Bennett gets to drop in, do his burst and stuff, or not burst, some skill, skill sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, generally speaking, it's just these two units are generally very high value and Bennett can do a lot. Uh, it would actually really nice to ta uh, fight his talent card into this deck. I really don't think it's going to be the case just because uh, this deck is already very stringent enough. Uh, so, you know, I would, you'll probably have to play with that talent, but that'd be pretty correct. I would really like that. Yeah, we're gonna be sitting around here for a bit uh you know just trying to fencing away uh figuring out a ways to work around eula and this this is the great part you know eula looks really scary uh but there's always a way uh, to get around it so i steal vorukasha's back so i can get full value out of it now I, I am expecting a kill here but they actually just let uh official live which was very surprising to me uh, of course they are they can't anticipate the ivan lost yet uh but who you know who knows uh, and that's another surprising thing uh despite this deck you know of course being like you know rainbow geo uh you do run i haven't lost yet surprisingly enough because it does actually help there you go made an electro dice and that's another thing you can do you can use it to swap into asia create a dice and then move right back to where you want to be it truly is a, an experience of a card there we go i got lunar cycles and ending finally uh I, I did i of course i did mention it briefly earlier but it's it is pretty simple just an equipment card two aligned dice and then you create one element dice for each member of your party and of course that combined with gilded dreams uh super duper broken uh they're doing their best you know big props to nero for you know doing their best defense around uh this game plan it really is not easy uh to to fight uh you know they're even doing as much to apply hydro to everyone uh to make sure i don't make it i do a little bit of skill issue there because i think oh haha ha, let's draw my let's draw a card and i realize oh wait i have no more cards uh that is something definitely watch out for that you will draw your hand way faster than you think uh with this deck and just asia hood decks in general uh with especially with the next one i'm going to show you but yeah uh nero drops all their dice in and how unfortunate because look at how many dice i just generated off of talent i went all the way in and now asia is about to drop a ginormous burst here we go let's see it and bang eula is gone g geez oh my goodness i cannot believe that happened it is such a ridiculous card man uh you know just being able to cheat out that many dice uh is really crazy and of course with the new uh you know card add from last that's liar song you can now do it even further where you can play gilded dream twice and then that into that and that's why it's called asia hub magic you can basically generate infinite dice 
uh, and your opponent just looks at you in horror as, they, as you absolutely slap them up with it. Now, uh, there is one more deck that I did not uh, show off yet, and I, this is kind of the bonus content section uh, because the kind of the joke you know as i as i mentioned i did take an engine from a robot wizard it is slightly modified the thing i cut was sealy because I, I it was a single it was a it was one uh, one off sealy so i really wasn't the biggest fan of it you know just being one one off so i modified it to uh have dice fixing instead because asia has dice fixing can be very dangerous uh i would generally say that you know top players are usually right uh you probably don't technically need this card because of you know if you properly use gilded dreams plus asia had talent you really have any problems but anyways, I digress. Yeah, this is the general engine uh, for, you know, Ajdaha magic. But the thing is that Ajdaha, like, you know, and that, that's the thing. Like, all you need is him and then slot two units in, and then it just works. And I say that because over here, completely on the other side of the world, uh, we have Mattel. Mattel is a very prominent top player, also YouTuber, uh, who does help out, um, you know, who does make their own tournaments. So that's super cool. Uh, you know, it's great to have it for that audience. Uh, you know, especially when language barrier are in play, but this is their deck actually, and they call it uh, Monster Superconduct, or you know, Weekly Boss Superconduct. So uh, this is their list, and you know, it is of course running something pretty similar, Dunya Mao, and then uh, adding Timaeus and Yoyoe in together. Uh, you also get to use uh, Grieving Echo and no Abyssal Summons, but you know, like I said, this deck it just works well because Ajdaha and the combination of two other characters can really do a lot. So let's jump right into it and take a look at what happens when we just let we just let Ajdaha <laughs> we just uh, Ajdaha have some magic go. All right, jumping in right in for Mattel's deck and here. Man, I I so it's called. This is actually like, I like I said I wasn't planning on putting this, uh, you know, deck in the video, but I really just wanted to showcase uh, how crazy you can get uh, with this character, especially with such a funny character lineup too. Uh, you know, there's a really interesting nuance to the fact that you don't really want to run uh, monster resonance because you know both uh, thundering manifestation and Ajaha count as monsters. Uh, you know, because most people think like, oh, you know, like you absorb more elements, you get summons off the field. It's really not that useful. Uh, to be honest with this uh, set of characters because you want to you know that's the thing about Asia is that you kind of want to keep uh, your stuff as consistent as possible because realistically like I said there is technically no drawback in getting random elements but you would like to have some degree of control uh, anyways how to play uh, Mattel's deck which by the way I will link their uh, stuff in the description is uh, it is monster super conduct always start Senora and then you know start kind of going ham on thundering manifestation until it is Senora and Asia hand game Asia will just start beating up your opponent uh, with all elemental reactions and geo damage and then senora can just finish the job either one i can really do it it is uh it's so funny to see this combination of characters and they work too it works pretty well uh surprisingly even with a solo tandoori chicken uh, which i did absolutely not expect uh, to work in the slightest so just moving along with this uh, i will say this deck is definitely like i said it is bonus content uh just because it it more features these two out the gate but asia has still does do some pretty crazy stuff in this deck and it's just crazy in the fact that it even works. Baja funny lightning rod. Thundering manifestation does its thing. Jiao goes in. I get to get a talent card, grieving echo, wonderful. I can draw more cards for free. I love this game. Yep, just going in. Boom, boom. I have to tune out Boar Princess, which is really unfortunate. Boar Princess is such a high value card, uh, especially with this, uh, you know, with Gilded Dreams. Uh, you know, you can do so much of it, especially with Liar Song. I have to play it now just so I can actually get out of the skill and I drop the orbital laser cannon and we wait for the next turn. Ouch, rude and a slight annoyance. Uh, by the way, skill issue. I really should have put the five star version over on here because I, I put the I put the two star version because I'm like uh, not two star. I'm sorry. Four star version because I'm like, oh, well, I'm never going to use <laughs> this character. This character exists to die. So, uh, but yeah, that's definitely a skill issue. Honestly, I shouldn't do that. Waiting for the rest of the stuff to happen. Thank goodness. Thank you. And we slide through the dice. Ajdaha will be coming. Give him a second. He's shy. <laughs> Boom. This is the single Tandoris in the deck, by the way, which is absolutely crazy uh, <laughs> to me. Uh, but the really cool thing is that I'm going to be able to make full use of this Tandori the whole time. Uh, not only do I draw Chef Mao, but, you know, uh, Senora is about to demolish 
uh, my thundering manifestation and now i move into asia and this is where the combo turn starts baby i drop gilded dreams and then i get some dice and then i drop stone facets and i crystallize and then i get an electro dice oh man oh well, there's juniors out again oh then it's not over yet ouch she transforms into the crimson witch embers big pain and suffering that's okay though i can fast swap away hello and then i decide you know what uh this engine's great but i really don't need that right now and i'm just gonna drop some cryo damage on it i just used all three of my skills in one turn with tandoori's chicken that is maximum value because the kind of the joke about tandoori's chicken uh slash fish and chips in this new patch is that you know you need to be able to use it at least two characters if you truly want uh your skills to be valuable and of course that is really really hard uh to do because you know you only have so many dice to swap around uh you know with your characters and with this case i just got to use all three because haze to generates the dice gilded dreams generates the dice i don't even have a talent out yet and i'm still generating dice that is just the truly crazy part about you know these characters Moving on as we are waiting for the match to continue. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -da. They drop lots of healing, all kinds of stuff, but I have more. Oh, wow, look at that. Look who decided to join the party. Oh my goodness. Oh man, this person is in for a bad time and I know it because this is a replay. Anyway, sliding right through. Let's see, Senora, I think, she, I think pretty sure just, you know, Senora is gonna do Senora things like I said earlier. It's it's funny it's funny how Senora decks you know all end up working, uh, you know with her other character in tandem because they just you just kind of let them do their thing, and it all works out somehow, which is just so strange, uh, you know and very in line with uh, how the Fatui function. Uh, mostly in this game, uh, they really kind of don't have synergies with each other. They just kind of do what they do. Swapping into Aizda, he's gonna do a little bit of a monologue. Are you gonna see? You're are you ready to see uh, the most cheating dice ever? Okay, ready. Okay, so I play I play Lunar Cycles and anything, right? Boom. Electro Dice, Pyro Dice, Cry uh, Geodice, boom, boom, boom. Alright. Now I'm gonna do it again and I'm actually going to make sure I tune something to here because I need to make sure that I can continue the chain all the way into Ocean. In. So I tune for cautious because I don't need a second one, and I'm not doing a geo attack. Boom, boom, boom. I get gamblers in, and now I stomp with electro. I get a superconduct reaction going over to there and we're gonna drop the burst to finish the game there we go and that is ggs thank you Ajdaha. you are truly a ridiculous character now my briefing on the end is going to be a little longer but yeah th this this is just something right i i played three different decks uh you know out here you know of course uh one of them is the easier one because it is just double geo uh, makes your life a lot easier when figuring things out it doesn't even use uh doesn't use the gilded stuff just because you know it's trying to be you know the simple list to get you used to uh playing this character because once you start getting to the chaos territory uh it is very difficult and there's also no going back uh once you feel the power of asia hub magic uh being able to generate four dice on demand is very very strong and especially those dice being omnis too uh, it's just something you don't want to mess with in the slightest. I mean, it is just it is just such an experience uh, to do stuff like that. So uh, just generally speaking, uh, you know, if you're trying to build decks like this, uh, do Age to High Talent, Gilded Dreams, the ability to swap off your, you know, reduce your artifacts with Yo-Yo and Natsuki, and then swap your artifacts off with Liar Song. And make sure you have enough draw. Of course, this list is recommended. I will be having it in the description as well as just a moment. But yeah, that is the generally speaking Age to Hub magic sauce. Uh, you know, and just go go hog wild, man. You can play Age to Hub with anything. Look at how ridiculous these team comps are. I will say that this one right here, uh, you know, with the combination of Robo and Kevin's brain combined, um, this is probably the one I do find to be the strongest. People have played this actually with Linny. Uh, you know instead of Bennett, which I think is fine. I just when I played it I just really didn't like how it felt uh, it felt really weird to me honestly And then this one I, of course I just uh, checked out Mattel's uh, YouTube video and I'm like wow, that's really funny I gotta try this but yeah, let's just like you can do a lot of stuff uh, with this character honestly and It's it's funny. It's funny how it all works out and I, it, as much as it looks intimidating He's really not that bad. Just get used to making sure that you have the correct dice and that's honestly the best advice I can give to, you know, like Asia Hub players, you know, if you want to try them out is 
just make sure you have the right dice you know bring something bring something to fix it maybe a toss-up maybe a bestest uh, and that's honestly all you need and you can just start stomp and stomp and stomp and on your opponents uh yeah that is pretty much all i have to say about uh the deck for you know just playing asia hut in general i'm gonna go ahead and slide over so you guys can take a look at the decks that we have uh here today so it's so big that i actually have to cover myself uh you know from left to right we have and claire we have kevin c and robot wizard and then lastly we have mattel uh, all three lists and they will be available in the description uh, you know if um you know if you have issues trying to find uh the deck you can just ping me in discord or you can you know just look here uh take a nice look see you know pause the video but otherwise uh that's pretty much all uh, we have to talk about today and uh before i go i do want to mention uh one thing our tournament series is all set to go we have a schedule right here for you all uh to take a look uh this is posted both in our discord and you do actually you have to be in our discord to play these tournaments but uh, that is pretty much all I have to say. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. And tournaments are tomorrow, uh, you know, pretty much. Uh, I will be probably hosting the Asian one, so I will see you then. But anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I am ready uh, to head out. So I'll see you later. Goodbye.